Ultimate Budgeting Guide, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom. Are you ready to take control of your finances and achieve financial freedom? Most people would say absolutely, but then they go right back to scrolling through Instagram and buying things they don't need. Today, we're going to walk you through the seven steps to financial freedom with a focus on mastering your money through effective budgeting. Let's get started. All right, let's dive right into the first and most crucial step, understanding your income and expenses. This is the foundation of everything we're going to talk about today. You can't build a house on shaky ground, and you can't build a solid financial future without knowing where your money is coming from and where it's going. Imagine being able to pinpoint exactly where your money is going each month. You'll be able to see those little leaks in your spending, those $5 lattes that add up to hundreds over a year. So how do you actually track your income and expenses? Well, you can go old school with a spreadsheet or you can use one of the many budgeting apps out there like Mint, Personal Capital, or YNAB. You need a budget. These apps connect directly to your bank accounts and credit cards, making it super easy to see all your transactions in one place. Once you've got a system in place, it's time to be brutally honest with yourself about your spending habits. Look for areas where you can cut back. Do you really need that Netflix subscription and Hulu? Can you bring your lunch to work a few times a week instead of eating out? Small changes can make a big difference over time. Remember, this first step is all about awareness. You can't manage what you don't track, so get clear on your income and expenses. Now that you have a good handle on your cash flow, it's time to talk about goals. Without goals, you're just drifting along, hoping for the best. But when you set clear financial goals, you give yourself something to work towards, a destination for your financial journey. Think of it like this. If you were going on a road trip, you wouldn't just hop in the car and start driving without a destination in mind, would you? You'd end up lost and frustrated. The same goes for your finances. You need to know where you're going to create a roadmap to get there. So what are some examples of financial goals? Well, it could be anything that's important to you. Maybe you want to buy your dream home, retire early, or travel the world. Or maybe it's something simpler like paying off your credit card debt or building an emergency fund. The key is to make your goals specific measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. We call these SMART goals. Instead of saying I want to save more money, say, I want to save $10,000 for a down payment on a condo in the next two years. Remember, your goals are personal to you. Focus on what's important to you and what you want to achieve with your finances. Now that you have a clear understanding of your income, expenses, and financial goals, it's time to bring it all together and create a realistic budget. I know, I know, the dreaded B word. But trust me, a budget isn't about restricting your freedom. It's about giving you the power to make informed decisions about your money so you can achieve those awesome goals we just talked about. Think of your budget as a financial roadmap. It helps you allocate your income to different spending categories such as housing, transportation, food, entertainment, and of course, savings and investments. By following a budget, you can ensure that you're prioritizing your spending and making progress towards your goals. So, how do you actually create a budget? Well, there are a few different methods you can use, but one popular approach is the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests allocating 50% of your after-tax income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. Needs are your essential expenses, such as housing, groceries, transportation, and utilities. Wants are non-essential expenses such as dining out, entertainment, and travel. And of course, savings and debt repayment include things like building your emergency fund, contributing to your retirement accounts, and paying down any outstanding debt. Another popular budgeting method is zero-based budgeting. This method involves assigning every dollar of your income to a specific expense category, leaving no room for unaccounted spending. The key to creating a successful budget is to be realistic and flexible. And remember, it's okay to adjust your budget as needed. Life happens, and your financial situation can change over time. Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, saving and investing. I know, I know it might not sound as exciting as, say, buying a new car or going on a shopping spree. But trust me, this is where the magic really happens when it comes to building long-term wealth. You see, saving and investing are like planting seeds for your future. The sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. It's like that old saying, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. So where do you start? Well, the first step is to build an emergency fund. This is your safety net, your financial cushion for unexpected expenses like a medical bill or a car repair. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses in a high yield savings account. 
Once you have a solid emergency fund in place, you can start thinking about investing for the long term. A great place to begin is with retirement accounts like a 401k or a Roth IRA. These accounts offer tax advantages that can help you grow your money faster. And don't forget about investing outside of retirement accounts too. You can invest in things like stocks, bonds, real estate, and even cryptocurrencies. Remember, saving and investing are not just about getting rich quick. It's about building a secure financial future for yourself and your family. Eliminate debt strategically. Now let's talk about debt. It's the big bad wolf of personal finance and it can really hold you back from achieving your financial goals. But don't worry, there are ways to slay this beast and come out on top. The first step is to understand the different types of debt. There's good debt and bad debt. Good debt, like a mortgage or a student loan, can actually help you build wealth over time. Bad debt, like credit card debt, is high interest debt that can quickly spiral out of control. If you're struggling with high interest debt, like credit card debt, it's important to make it a priority to pay it down as quickly as possible. One effective strategy is the debt snowball method. This involves paying off your smallest debts first, regardless of interest rate, while making minimum payments on all your other debts. As you pay off each debt, you roll the amount you were paying into the next smallest debt, creating a snowball effect. Another popular strategy is the debt avalanche method. This method involves paying off your highest interest debts first, regardless of balance, while making minimum payments on all your other debts. Whichever method you choose, the key is to be consistent and disciplined with your payments. Remember, eliminating debt is like giving yourself a raise. The money you're no longer paying in interest charges can be redirected towards your savings and investments. Continuously monitor and adjust your budget. Congratulations! You've made it to step six, which is all about monitoring and adjusting your budget. Think of this as the maintenance phase of your financial journey. Just like a car needs regular tune-ups to run smoothly, your budget needs regular checkups to stay on track. Life is full of surprises, and your financial situation can change from month to month. You might get a raise, experience an unexpected expense, or decide to pursue a new financial goal. That's why it's important to review your budget regularly, at least once a month, to make sure it's still aligned with your current needs and goals. When reviewing your budget, take a close look at your income and expenses. Are you earning more or less than you were last month? Have your expenses increased or decreased? Based on your answers, make adjustments to your budget as needed. Remember, your budget is not set in stone. It's a living document that should evolve with your changing financial situation. By continuously monitoring and adjusting your budget, you can stay on top of your finances and ensure that you're making progress towards your goals. Stay motivated and keep learning. You've put in the hard work, you've created a solid financial plan, and you're well on your way to achieving your goals. But the journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint, and it's important to stay motivated and keep learning along the way. One of the best ways to stay motivated is to find an accountability partner or join a community of like-minded individuals who are also on their own financial journeys. Sharing your goals and progress with others can help you stay on track and motivated, especially when you face challenges or setbacks. Another key to staying motivated is to celebrate your successes along the way. Did you pay off a credit card, reach a savings milestone? Treat yourself to something nice. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it's important to acknowledge your progress and reward yourself for your hard work. And finally, don't stop learning. The world of personal finance is constantly evolving, so it's important to stay up to date on the latest trends, strategies, and tools. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch videos and attend workshops to expand your knowledge and improve your financial literacy. Remember, the journey to financial freedom is a lifelong pursuit. By staying motivated, keeping learning and never giving up, you can achieve your financial dreams. That's it. You now have the seven steps to take control of your finances and achieve financial freedom. Remember to start by understanding your income and expenses, then set clear financial goals, create a realistic budget, prioritize savings and investments, eliminate debt strategically, continuously monitor and adjust your budget, and most importantly, stay motivated and keep learning. I know it might seem like a lot to take in, but the most important thing is to just start. Take that first step today. Open a savings account, create a budget, or read a book about personal finance. Every small step you take brings you closer to your financial goals. If you found this video helpful, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship.